photography tips that you're going to be able to use for the rest of your life. Okay, to get a good shot, it's all about lighting. Only four things. Lighting, composition, angle, and timing. So you're going to get dirty and you're going to have to get up early. I'm in Joshua Tree National Park and it's a little after sunrise and I'm in the Jumbo Rocks. Look at this place. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy to be here. Um, so the funny thing is, if you want to get the sunrise, you have to get up in the dark to be there before it happens, not while it's happening, because you can't figure out a good angle and composition beforehand. So, I'm going to go into these Jumbo Rocks. I'm at Jumbo Rocks in Joshua Tree National Park. So, here's the thing. Once you got your lighting, the timing for that, and you do have to get up early, then you want to think about angle and composition. Angle is everything. So you don't want to be too high or too low. Well, sometimes you do. Sometimes you want to be too high and too low. Um, but you want to try different things. Like, look at this. Look at how that looks a lot different than that. Now, most people don't bend down because their legs won't let them. <laughs> That's why you do yoga. So your thighs stay limber for photography. It helps a lot. Um, and then composition. I'll, um, here's the simplest way to put it. It's um, If you can look at your photograph, like see how two-thirds of this is the rocks and one third is me. If you can put your photo into thirds, you're gonna have a better picture. That's a very simple way to describe composition. And then timing, of course, with people, it's magic. Um, it takes a lot of practice to get magical about sh uh, shooting people because um, it's flash lightning. It's so quick and it goes away in a minute. So what I learned in photographing 724 weddings is you have to be there before the emotion happens. So if you see something, if you hear a laugh, if there's something brewing, get over there and see if you can get it. And it applies to every situation with people. Um, so I'm going to leave you with that and start photographing and... Any questions, ask me. Angle, light, composition, and timing. That's it. Don't think about anything else. Just think about those things and you'll get great shots. I promise.